And with much of the world continuing to grapple with the coronavirus, the original epicenter, China, is appearing to take advantage of the global distraction, as David Culver now reports. Touting what it is calling a success and containing the novel coronavirus outbreak, China is now shifting its focus to military preparedness, making what some U.S. military experts perceive to be power moves on multiple fronts. The American military in the Pacific is approaching this as a very significant, uh, growing security threat to our interests in the region, and with good reason. A Chinese military expert is even warning that a direct conflict is possible between China and the U.S. The two sides, if not managed well, there will be accidental fire. Such confrontation might lead to spiral tension or lead to the edge of a full fragile confrontation. China is flexing its military muscle, trialing its new aircraft carrier at sea a few weeks ago, and last year parading some of its latest missile technology through Beijing. President Xi Jinping addressed China's National People's Congress last month, saying China should comprehensively strengthen the training of troops and combat preparedness. In recent weeks, Chinese troops were sent to China's border with India, the two countries disputing territorial claims. Government-controlled media releasing these images of China's military inaction. And last year, Chinese paramilitary troops mobilizing to the border with Hong Kong. A not-so-veiled threat against the city months after pro-democracy protests, which led to Beijing imposing new national security laws for the semi-autonomous territory. But among the areas most concerning for the U.S. and its allies, the South China Sea. China claims these waters as sovereign territory within a designated boundary, which an international tribunal has dismissed as without legal basis. Nevertheless, China's built up its naval presence here. It's constructed islands where recent satellite images appear to show more permanent military bases. Some Southeast Asian nations have alleged China has even harassed foreign vessels carrying out oil exploration and fishing. What's happened out there in recent months is most alarming to the U.S., its allies, and other Asian countries. They see it as China using this moment, when other countries are distracted with their own coronavirus outbreaks, to become increasingly aggressive. To counter the Chinese claims, the U.S. Navy has conducted multiple freedom of navigation exercises in the sea in recent months as well as sailing through the Taiwan Strait. Wu Shetun says those exercises show it is the U.S. provoking China. The United States is a troublemaker to such a sea. Wu suggests that while China has no desire for conflict, the Chinese will protect its sovereignty at all cost. Thank you very much. Especially as President Donald Trump tries to win re-election. The Trump administration would use the South China Sea issue to convince U.S. people, United States, has in a hardline stance towards China. China has also unlawfully claimed territory in the Pacific Ocean, threatening freedom of navigation and international trade. Experts are now calling for a channel for negotiations to ease the tensions between the two sides. But that seems increasingly unlikely. The U.S.-China relationship is without question the most critical, the most important bilateral relationship that we have in the world. And right now, it's broken. A complete severing could set the two world powers on a collision course at sea. David Culver, CNN, Hainan Island, China.